Hello, this is Robin Norgren. I'm your host from Montessori, Creativity, and the Meaning of Life. And we are working through a series called Love Poems for God. And we are currently listening to the poetry by Hafiz. The first poem is called How Did the Rose? How did the rose ever open its heart and give to its world all of its beauty? It felt the encouragement of light against its being. Otherwise, we all remain too frightened. Power is safest in a poet's hands. Power is safest in a poet's hands, thus for the artist God will pose. The realms of thought sublimely wild, the finest pigments of the ground suns, the violin's divine plea for a true friend. What is all this world has been from, has seen, what is all this world has seen from art? The shadow more true and glorious there than in the cage where there is often talk of right and wrong. The reins of God say to his lover, hold me in your mouth, dear, as you toil with all your limbs and strength to free the magnificence in man. The reins of the sky sing, grab hold and you will know God lowers his cup into you to drink. The woman I love, because the woman I love lives inside of you. I lean as close to your body with my words as I can. And I think of you all the time, dear pilgrim. Because the one I love goes with you wherever you go. Hafiz will always be near. If you sat before me, wayfarer, with your aura bright from your many charms, My lips could resist rushing to you, but my eyes, my eyes can no longer hide the wondrous fact of who you really are. The beautiful one whom I adore has pitched his royal tent inside of you. So I will always lean my heart as close to your soul as I can. The true nature of your beloved Know the true nature of your beloved. In his loving eyes, your every thought, word, and movement is always, always beautiful. Only pucker at certain moments? Does God only pucker at certain moments of one's life? No way. He is the wildest of us lovers. Perfect equanimity. Look how a mirror will reflect with perfect equanimity all actions before it. There is no act in this world that will ever cause the mirror to look away. There is no act in this world that will ever make the mirror say no. The mirror, like perfect love, will just keep giving of itself to all before it. How did the mirror ever get like that? So polite, so grand, so compassionate. It watched God. Yes, the mirror remembers the beloved looking into itself as the beloved shaped existence's heart and the mirror's soul. My eye has the nature of God. Havis looks upon all with perfect equanimity, as do my words, dear. My poems will never tell you no because the mirror is not like that. And if God ever hits you with a doubt, he has fingers crossed. He is just fibbing for your own good. Troubled? 
troubled? Then stay with me, for I am not. Lonely? A thousand naked amorous ones dwell in ancient caves beneath my eyelids. Riches? Here's a pick. My whole body is an emerald that be- that begs, take me. Write all that worries you on a piece of parchment. Offer it to God, even from the distance of a millennium. I can lean the flame in my heart into your life and turn all that frightens you into holy incense ash. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your support of this podcast. Make sure and subscribe in your favorite podcast venue. And please share it with someone who you think would really be encouraged by this type of poetry.